Good morning students. Welcome back to the Max class. In the previous class, we have learned subtracting two digit and three digit numbers without borrowing. Today, let us learn subtracting two digit numbers with borrowing. First, I will tell you some tips for doing subtraction. First, we have to read the question and have to write the numbers in order according to their places and also without any mistakes. Some of you may do mistakes while copying the numbers. So, see the question and copy down the numbers without mistakes. In subtraction, if you see from in the question means the number which is after to from, that number we have to take as the first number. For example, subtract 28 from 36. Here, the number after to from is 36. So, we have to take 36 as the first number and 28 as the second number. And we have to write it as 36 minus 28. Understood children? When there is from in the question, the number which is after to the word from, that number is the first number. And if there is and in the question, for example, subtract 36 and 28 or subtract 28 and 36. Here, we have to write greatest number first. That is greatest number will be the first number. So, here in 36 and 28, 36 is greater than 28. So, we have to write 36 first and next we have to write 28. That is 36 minus 28. If the question is like this means that is 48 minus 29, we have to write first number first. In this example, 48 is the first number. So, we have to write 48 first and next 29. That is 48 minus 29. Understood children? And by doing subtraction, always we have to start subtracting the numbers from the ones place. Children, while doing subtraction for borrowing or without borrowing, count the numbers from the second number to the first. So that you won't get any confusion while doing borrowing subtractions. And in subtractions, I told you to close all the fingers before you start counting the numbers. And while counting the numbers, that is from the second number, you have to open one finger for one number and second finger for the next number like that till we get the first number. And in addition, how we have taken fingers? We have opened the fingers as per the given numbers which is less and we started counting numbers by closing the fingers so that you may not get any confusion while doing addition or subtraction. Understood children? And one more thing, while doing subtractions, compare the digits in the first number and the second number. I will explain it while doing the sums why we have to compare the numbers. Now let us start subtracting two digit numbers with borrowing. First let us take one example. 82 minus 19. First we have to arrange the numbers in the correct columns. So first we have to write places. Here 82 and 19 both are two digit numbers. So, we have to write two places, O for 1s and T for 10s. First number is 82. In 82, 2 is in 1s place. So, write 2 below O. And 8 is in 10s place. So, we have to write 8 below T. And now, we have to write the second number. What is the second number? 19. 
in 19. 9 is in 1's place. So write 9 below 2. And 1 is in 10's place. So write 1 below 8. Now keep the subtraction sign. What is the subtraction sign? Minus. And now we have to start subtracting the numbers from the 1's place. What are the digits in 1's place? 2 and 9. So as I told you before, first we have to compare the digits. Children, you may get doubt that in the previous class, we have not compared the numbers. But now, why we have to compare the numbers? Yes, children? Okay. While subtracting the numbers without borrowing, the digits in the first number will always be greater than the digits in the second number. But in the borrowing subtraction, the digit in the first number may be greater than or may be lesser than the digit in the second number. If the digit in the first number is lesser than the digit in the second number, it is not possible to subtract. So, at that time, what we have to do? We have to borrow from the left side place digit. For example, if you forget to bring your pencil to school means, what you will do? You will borrow pencil from your friend or from your benchmate. Like that, if the digit in the first number is less than the second number, we have to borrow from the left place digit. So to find whether we have to borrow or not, we have to compare the numbers. Understood children? Okay. Here in 2 and 9, 2 is lesser than 9. So we have to borrow from the tens place digit that is from 8. In 8, there are 8 tens. From 8 tens, if we borrow 1 ten means, how many tens will be remained there? Yes, 7 tens. So, if we borrow 1 ten from 8 tens, there will be 7 tens remaining. So, strike off 8 and write 7 in tens place. And in the ones place, 2 will become 12 as 1 10 plus 2 ones is equal to 12. Now we have to subtract 9 from 12. Now close your fingers and start counting 9 after number to 12. Okay, let us start counting. 9 after 10, 11, 12. How many fingers we have opened? 3. So write 3 in 1's place. And now we have to subtract the digits in 10's place. What are the digits in 10's place? 7 and 1. 7 is greater than 1. So no need to borrow. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. We all know that. If 1 is subtracted from any number, the difference is the predecessor of that number. Here, the predecessor of 7 is 6. So, write down 6 in tens place. So, the difference of 82 and 19 is 63. Therefore, 82 minus 19 is equal to 63. Now, let us take another example. Subtract 37 from 44. First, let us write the numbers according to the places. Here, two numbers are two digit numbers. So, write two places. O for ones and T for tens. First, write the first number. What is the first number? 37 or 44? 44. In the question, there is from. So, the number which is after from is the first number. So, here 44 is the first number. In 44, right side 4 is in 1's place. So, write it below 4. And left side 4 is in 10's place. 
So write it below T. And now we have to write the second number. That is 37. In 37, 7 is in 1's place. So write 7 below 4 which is in 1's place. And 3 is in 10's place. So we have to write 3 below 4 which is in 10's place. Now put the subtraction sign. And now we have to start subtracting the numbers from 1's place. First, let us compare the digits in 1's place. What are the digits in 1's place? 4 and 7. 4 is lesser than 7. So we have to borrow from the 10's place digit 4. If we borrow 1 10 from 4 10's, there will be 3 10's remaining. So strike off 4. And write 3 in tens place. And the digit in ones place, that is 4 will become 14. As 1 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. Now we have to subtract 7 from 14. Close all your fingers and count 7 after 2, 14. Let us start counting. 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many fingers we have opened? 7. So write 7 in 1's place. And now we have to subtract the digits in 10's place. What are the digits in 10's place? 3 and 3. We all know that any number subtracted from itself means the difference is 0. So 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So, the difference of 44 and 37 is 7. Therefore, 44 minus 37 is equal to 7. Now, let us take one more example. Subtract 60 and 28. First, let us write the places. Here, two numbers are two digit numbers. So, we have to write Two places. O for ones and T for tens. And now we have to write the first number. What is the first number here? 60 or 28? 60 is the first number. Because 60 is greater than 28. In 60, 0 is in ones place. So, write 0 below O and 6 is in tens place. So, write 6 below T. And now, we have to write the second number. What is the second number? 28. In 28, 8 is in ones place. So, write 8 below 0. And 2 is in tens place. So, we have to write 2 below 6. And put the subtraction sign. Now we have to start doing the subtraction from 1's place. First we have to compare the digits in 1's place. What are the digits in 1's place? 0 and 8. In 0 and 8, 0 is lesser than 8. So we have to borrow from the 10's place digit that is from 6. If we borrow... 1 10 from 6 tens means there will be 5 tens. So strike off 6 and write 5 in tens place. And 0 will become 1 10 plus 0 is equal to 10. Now subtract 10 and 8. Now close your fingers and start counting from 8 after to 10. 8 after 9, 10. How many fingers we have opened? 2. So write 2 in 1's place. And now subtract the digits in 10's place. The digits in 10's place are 5 and 2. Here 5 is greater than 2. So no need to borrow. Close your fingers and start counting 2 after 2, 3. 2 after 3, 4, 5. How many fingers we have opened? 3. So write down 3 in 10's place. The difference of 
60 and 28 is 32. Therefore, 60 minus 28 is equal to 32. Understood children how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing? Okay, in the next class, let us learn subtracting three digit numbers with borrowing. Okay children, take care of yourself. Thank you.